Welcome friends to another meta matchup. This time it is Murloc Paladin versus Dragon Priest. At least I think that's what he's running. I could be wrong, like I normally am, but um, I was actually really, really thrilled because I spent like 30 plus minutes trying to find a game um, that didn't just quit or was interesting at all um, on the more casual side of everything. Because Dragon Priest, let's, let's face it, Dragon Priest is like kind of out there as far as a meta matchup. But he's running it. I'm happy that he's running it. And so we'll see what's going on. Uh, you can tell that I'm already kind of angry as I'm just like doing like greetings when someone's not turning on. But you know, it, it's it. We'll get there. We'll we'll get there. All right. So first things first. The opening play versus a priest. Normally, I wouldn't be throwing things out unless I had a um, really really good option for that. But because I have Divine Favor in my hand, I can let him draw as many cards as he wants to because I think I have a better deck than he does. Which in turn means that I will be able to just flat out beat him in the long run no matter what kind of cards he has. Now I have two. So my plan was to just throw the 1-2 Murloc into him once I got three on the board, but he saw through that and then decided to get more cards. So it's just going to be a really, really, like, a real pain overall. Now, as I said, he is running Dragon Priest, which I think is a... It, it doesn't have the clear that it used to, but... Dragon Priest is a really fun deck if you can actually get through a lot of things. So I think that uh, if I was to say, if I was to give this matchup a like rating already, I'd probably go um, out of five matches. I think Murloc Paladin will win like three point five, almost four of them simply because like if you have a um if they're not running dust breaker or something like that then you might then you might have some trouble but like for example here he really really wants me to trade um two of my things in order to destroy that and i don't have to i can instead just um not trade it and start dealing damage to face and get more pressure on the board. Now, that being said, this is actually a very, very bad play because there are two dragons that he could throw right there that would actually be able to destroy me. I just don't think he had them. Um, mainly because it's one of those things where if he had thrown Dustbreaker, all except one of my things is gone and he can just begin healing to get that to get a 7-7 which would suck so bad yeah he's just drawing dead that that's the problem with that it's like yeah as much as like drawing dead he had he had the win he had the he had a shot a chance to win it but he just drew dead at the end anyway thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed it go ahead and like share and subscribe down below and I will see you all for the next matchup.